Hey, very good day. My name's Callum from DX Commander. Now, I am asked on a regular basis. Hello, Callum. I'm putting my antenna out in the, you know, in the backyard or whatever else. Uh, it's, you know, however many feet, meters, whatever it is, away. How, what, what's the best coax do I use? What do I, what do I use? So I'm not going to tell you what the best coax to use. Right? I'm going to tell you how you can determine what the best coax to use. So I'll just come up with a fictitious number. I'm going to talk meters. Okay, so 50 meters is about 165 feet. So let's just say, oh, it's 165 feet. So you've got 165 feet or 50 meter run of coax. And that's from your shack to your antenna. Right. Now, the first thing you want to do is go, what is the highest frequency that I'm going to be dealing with? Let's say, let's say the highest frequency you're going to, in this case, right? Let's say the highest frequency is, so we've got 50 meters of run and the highest frequency is going to be, let's say 28 megahertz. Do a Google search for coax loss calculator. I've done one here. I think this is the third hit. Doesn't really matter. This gives you an idea into the ballpark. A lot of these calculators have got very, very specific coaxes, but I'm going to show you how to work out your, uh, how to work it out yourself. Let's say you've got an official, a high quality RG213. The line length in meters we know is 50. Okay, the frequency is 28. Uh, in the main, you'll be say 1.25 SWR, give or take. I and mean, you're going to put a power at 100 watts in. So what are the results? The SWR loss is 0.03 of a dB with 1.25 SWR. So all those people that tell me, oh, if I'm running 1.2 SWR, how much power am I losing? Mm, whatever. The total loss is 1.7 dB, 1.7, 1.8. So your 100 watts in is going to come out at 66 watts out. Because if you remember, I'm pretty certain I've done a video about dBs. For every 3 dB, 3 dB is either double or half, okay? So it's quite easy to work that out. So am I happy with 1.8 dB? I, I'm not, actually. I'm into Ecoflex 15 for my main transmission line because that's pretty good, and we can quickly look that up. Ecoflex 15 uh, loss. Uh, it doesn't specifically give me 28 megahertz, but it gives me 50 for a 100 meter run of 50 megahertz, it's giving me 1.9, that's 2 dB, 10 megahertz is giving it. So rough rule of thumb, I'm looking at about one and a half, one to one and a half dB loss on 100 meters, half that for um, 50 meters, okay? So, so that's, that's what you need to do, right? You use a bit of logic, you, you uh, Messi and Peloni have got a good one actually, Messi and Payoloni, 50 ohm coax cables. I am not selling anybody's cables. I'm just saying I, I have used this. I've used SSB electronics. I'm independent when it comes to coax, okay? So I'm not trying to sell you any coax. You can use anything you like. So here we are, Ultraflex 10, we're roughly the same size as 213. There is a data sheet buying guide. So let's have a look at it. Here we go. So we'll just zoom up a bit. And uh, we'll zoom in to 28 megahertz. DB loss is 2, 2 megahertz, a uh, 2 dB, sorry, at 28 megahertz, at 50 megahertz, 2.7. At VHF, it's 4.7. And at 70 centimeters, it's 8.6, so nearly 10 times your power. Right, but anyway, we said uh, 50 megahertz, so 2.7. So you're losing roughly half your power on a six meter band, and it's, yeah, six meter band if you went down this line. Now I think they used to do little chart. Oh, here we are, a little chart here for all their cables, all right? So if I'm going like at uh, 80 meter band, so the lower you go in frequency, the more, <laughs> I was about to say chaotic, but actually, you know, the, the, the less loss there is. And as you can see, the higher in frequency you go, the more loss there is. So if you go up to, uh, wavelength 10 meters here 28 megahertz um it's saying that um 28 megahertz there it is there that line so your useful output is 73 watts for 100 in all right but at um 23 centimeters your useful output 
at 50 meter run or 165 feet is uh, 14 watts okay which is why i went down the ecoflex 15 route for all my stuff because it was the best that i could afford at the time i do have a, t a 100 meter run of ldf 450 but it's like an iron bar you know what i mean i can't fit that unfortunately through my through my duct look at this for fun look at this for fun let's say 2.4 gigs all right um 20 meters down the line at 2.4 gigs you only got 30 if you put one watt in you'll get 0 0.31 out that's how to choose your coax okay and once you've got that you need to be aware of how much can am i allowed to bend it and what quality are the connectors and am i capable of putting the connector on right now although you, some of you might have watched a video of me putting on a connector it hasn't failed okay i did put a connector on and i'm better than the video actually because i normally go down to my my other station where i've got all my light and uh, i've got a vice and all that sort of stuff but uh, when i'm when i'm doing it on show it's a bit fiddly hopefully you can now make your decision go anywhere you want times radio dx engineering messy and baloney ssb electronics if you buy unbranded stuff just ebay rg213 You've got no idea what you're buying, by the way, just to let you know. All right. If you've got any good coax stories for me down below, leave them in the comments. But in the meantime, another video here, got a playlist there. Have a great day and enjoy your coax. All right. All the best.